Know now that Jesus loves you. Father, instill in us a new zeal for the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Today we, today we speak on the woe. I know you've heard that in the scriptures. Or hopefully you've read Revelation and all. Uh, <clears throat> you are born again, uh, meaning you, uh, you were baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what born again means. That's all it means. And if you're not baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, you're not born again. Uh, you can say all the repentance prayers you want to, but you have to follow through. It says to repent, then be baptized, and then be filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's what you have to do to enter into the kingdom. And uh, if you do, uh, in John chapter 3, verse uh, uh, verse 5, uh, it plainly tells you, uh, so, uh, verily, verily I say unto you, this is Jesus talking, Verily, very last saying to you, unless you're born of water and of spirit, you will no wise enter into the kingdom. So please uh, follow the scriptures rather than what man says. Uh, <clears throat> you had forgotten to keep the fire burning in your, in your relationship with the Lord. Just as a relationship with your wife or husband uh, needs attention, so does your relationship with the Father. Uh, just as the ten, uh, ten virgins were told uh, to fill their lamps with oil, uh, only five of them did. And they were not, uh, uh, and, and you were not one of them that filled, uh, filled kept your thing, uh, your <laughs> lamp full. So, <laughs> in other words, charged up and seeking the Lord. That's what you have to do. He's not asking you to do anything hard. There's nothing hard about salvation. The Bible, he's plain. He, he tells you his yoke is easy and his burden is light. He just wants you to love him. And you don't really love him if you're not seeking him. Uh, or perhaps you had just uh, never known Jesus uh, as your personal savior. Either way, you're, uh, you're here and... Uh, as you can see, all hell is broke loose and on earth. Very scary times uh, for the tribulation has started. Now, the rapture has occurred at this point. Uh, so, and you got left behind. That's what I'm talking about. So, what can you do? And martial law has been uh, enforced all around the world. <coughs> Very little food uh, and water. Uh, uh, little to no communications and probably none. Terrors everywhere, riots, and of course uh, gangs breaking into your home to to take all you have and, and perhaps even kill you, or worse. And of course now everyone who uh, who claims to uh, to be a Christian is being rounded up uh, to be slaughtered. Oh, uh, oh, there's water, but uh, but not safe to drink. Food supplies and uh, all, all but gone. Uh, stores closed, uh, closed shelves stripped uh, bare. Uh, why did you not listen? Because there's been plenty of warnings. Uh, Noah had the same problem uh, with, the, with the people in his time. He gave them warnings uh, constantly for 100 years. That's how long it took him to build that ark. While he was hard uh, at work uh, building the boat, the ark of safety, uh, sadly, no one listened uh, uh, to him either. And there's been plenty of uh, uh, watchmen, uh, you know, uh, trying to tell you, but uh, it doesn't say, it just seems to fall on deaf ears. Now there was given, uh, uh, give, given you another ark of safety for this uh, generation. <clears throat> his name is Jesus Christ. He prepared a way for you to escape all the testings uh, which will come upon the whole world. However, it looks like you did not listen because you're in the tribulation now. We're very close to that right now. 
trying to get you to understand that. As uh, as the Jesus uh, <coughs> spoke to the to, as as Jesus spoke to the seven churches in the book of Revelation, he spoke to the different churches uh, to tell them of of the things they needed uh, to get uh, to get right that uh, that they could all be counted worthy to enter the kingdom of God. As for the church of Philadelphia, he said uh, in Revelation 3.10, Because thou hast kept my word of my patience, I will also keep thee from, from the hour of temptation. And that's uh, which will come upon uh, all the world uh, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, that is the rapture. Okay. Uh, because uh, if, if he allowed that church to go into that, then they wouldn't be kept from that testing, would they? <clears throat> These are they who were who were called away to be with the Lord in the heavens, for they were accounted wor- uh, ready and needed no more testing. However, you uh, 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 now need uh, for that, right? Uh, you have a need for that now. In Second uh, Timothy two uh, two fifteen, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman uh, that needs not to be ashamed, rightly feedly dividing the word of God of truth. In James two twenty six, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Now the Father has not forgotten you, uh, yet you were. Uh, you were not ready to be called away because of the uh, lackadaisical condition of your spirit. Perhaps you were lukewarm or cold or just didn't know it. You see, those who were who were raptured uh, showed their love for the Lord. No one wants a cold bride now, do they? I mean, you wouldn't really want to marry uh, somebody that was cold to you. Uh, that doesn't show love. Because of this, you uh, 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 you told him you were you were more interested in the things uh, of this life than uh, than the things uh, he had promised, and uh, upon your arrival in heaven, you know where uh, each uh, gets a mansion and uh, where all uh, your treasures are, are are stored. That's where they're stored at. Uh, therefore, uh, you are receive, uh, you are receiving your request to stay behind, because that's really what you're telling him. You know, if you don't wake up, that's that's exactly what you're telling him, because you've been warned. Uh, I'm not the only one warning. I'm just one of thousands or millions. For right here is uh, is where your heart is, not where the Father of creation is. <clears throat> so you have been given a, <clears throat> the desires of your heart, so you can play to, with your toys. Maybe you got a new motorcycle. Maybe you think more of that, that or the things of this world than than you do uh, of of the of the of the life that you're going to be going to. <clears throat> and you don't want to leave it behind. You you you're. Uh, I, don't, I won't go there. But uh, but alas, uh, Satan uh, and his demon friends are are out to destroy everything about you, and there is no more time to play. Uh, now is truly the a good time to pray. You've made a uh, you've made the same mistake Adam made. Uh, well, uh, uh, will we never learn? For Adam uh, only began seeking the Lord after he fell from the from the face of God. Have you just made the same mistake and uh, waited and waited too long? So if you uh, you have never uh, given your heart to to the Lord, then uh, then say this little prayer with me. Uh, but do it uh, from the depths of your heart. I mean, truly from your heart. Do it from love. Uh, and and humbleness, uh, for he knows uh, the thoughts and the intents of your heart. 
Father, forgive me of my sins. Jesus, come into my heart and make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' name. Now this is a sinner's prayer. This is your first step to becoming a child of God. Now you must be born again. Uh, this means you are to be baptized in water uh, in the name of Jesus Christ and pray uh, for the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Uh, you must pray aloud or you won't be able to hear your voice. You won't be able to, I mean, it, it's not a request until you speak it. You can't do it under your breath. So you must pray aloud uh, that the words of your mouth declares uh, your faith in, the, in him and he will fill you. In uh, John 3.3, 3, uh, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born, of, born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born of old uh, when he is old? Can he uh, re-enter the, uh, the womb of his mother and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you. That just means truly, truly. That's what I mean. Now, this is it. I mean, this is the, these are the facts. I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So he explains what born again means. You had the water and the spirit. In Acts 2.38, uh, then Peter uh, said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ask, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And uh, now the evidence of the infilling of this, uh, you will feel uh, the Lord all over you uh, when you're uh, when He's filling you. You'll you'll feel the presence of the God all over you as you are speaking uh, in the in the Lord uh, to the Lord in prayer. You will hear strange words in your mind, some that uh, you're praying your words out loud, but then you'll hear something else going on in the background in your head. And those are the that's that's the infilling of the Holy Ghost. That's the Spirit of God. <coughs> so you will hear strange words in your mind, and and your tongue uh, will also feel uh, it has words on it. It just feels like it's right on the tip of your tongue, like right there. And uh, and that's what it feels like when you're talking and you think, you know. So you're getting it here and you're getting it here, and God's wanting to speak through you. Uh, let your uh, let your tongue speak, uh, for it is your initial evidence of the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Uh, while there will uh, well uh, while there will be water and and food storages, God will provide uh, for your needs uh, as as you ask. Uh, you are in the right in the in the you're in for the right of your life, for the Lord is going to pour out the former and the latter rain. On all that are, are his, and you're going to need it. Uh, this means uh, uh, those who have repented, and those uh, who who have just become have just come to know the Lord. Then there will be a revival as no other. Miracles and and many saved during the during the time of the trials. Uh, uh, be very thankful for the time. Of the great tribulation is not yet upon you. Yeah, right now uh, it's a good time to call on the Lord. In a short period of time, uh, Jesus will also call you home, along with uh, those saved during the during that time. At this uh, at this time, the Holy Ghost will uh, will be lifted uh, from the from the earth, and lose full reign. This is during the tribulation. Uh, this will be the beginnings of the great tribulation, a time of woe, which has never been before. So whatever uh, you do, do it now. Uh, for at this moment uh, in time, you will uh, you will still have the, uh, to an escape route, and and that is uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus tells us, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So the sooner you come uh, to the Savior, the easier it will be on you. Man, don't wait. <laughs> Not a good idea. 
However, uh, many will also uh, not make it. For the deceiver of mankind has, has worked, uh, worked a spell of lies on many. And sadly, those uh, souls will, uh, will be heading for the, for the reward in the lake of fire. <coughs> Whatever you do, uh, don't take uh, the mark of the beast, neither uh, in your right hand or in your forehead. Uh, this will change your DNA, and, and when you do, when you do uh, there is no more forgiveness for you because you will not be human again. You will be changed. You'll be half-breed or half-whatever you want to call it. And the third angel sounded, uh, uh, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive this mark uh, in his hand or forehead, or, or, or in, uh, in his forehead or in his hand, uh, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Doesn't sound good to have, which is poured out up, uh, without measure uh, upon uh, in, into the cup of uh, his uh, indignation. And, uh, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So seek the Lord early uh, with all your heart and soul. Sell out completely now to, to Jesus. It's not hard. I mean, it's, he's, he's not taking anything away from you. He's adding. He's getting you out of the darkness. You're in a dark place. Uh, you, you fell. Uh, we were already uh, lower than the angels, and we fell below that. And we fell into darkness. We fell into the devil's domain where he went, and uh, he lost it all. Don't lose it all yourself. Come now. You will be spared the lake of fire uh, from this great love uh, uh, for you. He has, uh, he has even made a plan for you. In Revelation 14, 12, here is the patience of the saints. Uh, he, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. And I heard a voice uh, from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the are the dead uh, which die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may uh, rest uh, from their labors and their works do follow them. So he doesn't forget the things that you do. And I looked, uh, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like uh, unto the Son of Man, having on his uh, head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the out of the temple, crying with a loud voice, and his uh, uh, to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle. This is the reaping of the souls. And reap, uh, for the time is now uh, is come uh, for thee to reap, uh, for the harvest of the uh, of the earth is ripe. Uh, Revelation 22:14. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things uh, in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come. So he's calling you. And let him uh, that hears you come and let him that uh, has a thirst come. And whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto you, this is Jesus, every man that hears the words of this prophecy of this book, if any man add uh, uh, unto these things, uh, God shall uh, add unto him plagues that are written in, in, in this book. And if any man take away from the, the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away his part out of the book of life. That wouldn't be good. And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifies these, uh, these things uh, saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus uh, Christ be with all of you. Amen. 
Now, while there is uh, more left out, uh, uh, much left out uh, uh, of, uh, of what will uh, transpire during and after the uh, tribulation, uh, uh, they're just not written here. Uh, the point is not uh, not to place uh, not to replace the, replace the word, but rather to give you a glimpse of what is in store for you when you hold fast to Jesus Christ in faith, uh, knowing that you are uh, to study God's word, uh, that you may be able to stand by faith until the tri up to the trials and. and uh, until your trial is complete. Let everyone come now, uh, for now is the accepted time. And uh, let, every, uh, let, let every heart cry from your heart, okay? Out to the Father now as we, uh, uh, that we all escape uh, the wrath of the tribulation. So let us pray. Uh, Father, instill in us, uh, oh God, uh, the urgency Oh, God, uh, let us realize how close we are. Oh, God, don't let anyone slack. Oh, God, stir their hearts, Lord. And, Lord, we just ask, oh, God, that you change America. Lo conde calaco, cara cat cat catabaco, kit catate. Lo conde cura shara cola candibe carabaca. Condaraba shakate. In Jesus' name. Now, God bless you and God bless America. And start praying and fasting and seeking the Lord. And God will turn everything around. Repent. And He will change everything. No matter how much it, how bad it looks. God will change and heal your land wherever it is. God bless you. Until next time, stay blessed.